Hi, how's it going? Hi, 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 hi. So my name is Warat Mumunikit. Uh, oh, sorry, I never hear myself like this before. This is a little bit weird. So my paid job is a chief product officer of the company called Ysize. We do the social network data analytics. But it's not about decision. So another size of my jobs, um, I am the Google developer expert in web technology. So for like seven years, since 2016, I go around the Southeast Asia to endorse the people to adopt the progressive web app to their websites. Today's session is a little bit conflicts with my interest and a little bit conflicts with my, my, fate, my fate about progressive web app. So for a while, I realized the progressive web app it doesn't work with the workplace. So today, I will tell you why you don't need the progressive web app to your workplace size. So if Google see the record, he will try to email me and say, hey, what are you saying? <laughs> but it's fine. First of all, what is, the workplace? what is the progressive web app or the PWA? The progressive web apps is a concept that one, the webs can be the apps. So the main three things that should be happening on the progressive web app is first one is capability. Uh, so it's capable, it's like you can access the features of the platform like hardware, like some native dialogue, some things. Second one is reliable. So actually this one is talking about web should be run in the offline mode. That means even no internet connections, the web should be able to run at least a caching or something. The last one is most important part of the PWA is installable. So if you ask something about like what difference between app and web, main one thing is web cannot install without a like PWA setting up. So the PWA mainly talking about installable. So this one is a one of the reasons why you don't need it. So these are capturing of the main functions. So that is a concept, right? So these are how it look like when your web is provide a PWA capability. Third one is about notification. So your web is can like trigger notification. Second one in installable, when you go, yeah, in Android, when you go to the uh, website and that website has ability for installations. So it's pop-up is coming up, so you can see the detail and you can install. And also the offline one. So actually the, the with the current technology of the web, you can provide the offline experience to the user by catching some things with the something called a service worker. That um, three stuff that I can call it should be happens in the PWA. And with the some requirements right now, uh, offline is required if your website need the user to be in store. So when you go to the workplace site, plugin site, has many, many of the PWA plugin. So I try to see the what is how many active sites that install the, like the big fold or the big five, uh, the PWA plugin. Right now, uh, I think it's like about 10k sites has already provided the PWA experience by the plugin. So yeah, we have a some more for the plugin, uh, not a plugin, but that may be very small number. So all of that plugins provide mainly, I think it's mainly only one thing is installable. So it just make the web can be installed. So maybe some of them provide the, the, the offline experience, but that not all the here. Some of the plugin is created by the Google uh, open source. I, I, can't, I can't remember this one or this one, but yeah. Either one is provided by the Google. So the questions 
that is a topic for today is why we donate. First one, ask yourself, do you, why we need to install the content website on a phone? Why? You, you go to the one new site, you install it? No, right? For me, it's like, I, I don't do that. Only nine applications open, like, previously every day. Do you think you can be the one of nine? That's not right. It can't be, even like, your application is forced the user to use this way. So yeah, I think this problem is like a world problem of any app. But this is actual thing is about the type of the website. So I think mainly of the workplace user provide the workplace as a content website I, I can't say that like, like Workplace can do only content website because Workplace has very, like, very wise ability to implement reservations or many things. But I think majority of the Workplace size is a content website. So do you think people love to install that? Pick up your phone and see how many the contents on new sites that, uh, okay, I can say, uh, I want to say, how many news applications on your phones? Like, the new publisher. So for me, for my phones, I have only one. It's a medium. The medium is not actually content, it's a platform, right? So actually I have zero of that. I don't have any content applications, not talking about the website. I don't have any content applications on my phone. So that's the first thing that people don't want. And I don't think you need to make your website become the PWA. The second one, people love the notifications, right? I mean the developer and owner of the size, because you want to push the content to the user phone to let them read the content. But ask yourself, it's a very simple one. How many applications that you try to silence the notifications? Many of it, right? Even you have a lot of notifications, you always click the key or the buttons you don't read it all, it's if not very important, like a banks, like the bus schedules, like something like that, right? So for the content size, for the really like long, long-term implementations, that doesn't work. Also, when the website implement notification a lot, Chrome's Google try to block the notification by default. Right now, if your website got blocked from user a lot, Google not tell how much. Chrome will be automatically block your notification by default. So you need the user to activate it before getting notification. So it's reduced the chance of your site to fly the not notification to the user. So it doesn't work. The notification thing is doesn't work in the real world for like content website. So I read the notification only chat, maybe car broken or some things that not about content. Safari, so when I do the dislike, Safari still not support notification. But just yesterday, the new beta version of the Safari does support the notifications. And also, you need to add to home screen that website before the using notifications. It will be come with 
uh, 16.4, maybe, I, I'm not sure, or uh, 16.4 uh, surveys in the next release. So we're waiting for like a long, long time, so maybe almost six years for web notification on the surveys, but today it's happened. But you have to remember like this slide again. Notification for the web content, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. No one read it. The conversion rate is very low. Sorry, I'm, I has no the data backup that how low it is. But for my like, slightly survey, it's very low. OK. Our the next one is the offline mechanic. It doesn't design for the workplace. Why? OK, the offline mechanic of the website of the websites is run by something called service worker. So technically, it's like a proxy one. If it has a, if it has a network request, it cache it. It cache all the asset on the service worker, on the cache. And when the network cutting down, the browser normally will like call the the request pass to the service worker. So if the service worker can detect that network is not available, it will serve the cache. So when you are the like single page application like React or Vue.js or Angular, the technically the service worker will cache only the JS file and some asset file, that's all. So it's very small size. Uh, and also the, the single page application is provide the routings in the client size, not the routing, the routings, it's not in the server side like what place, right? So that they not want to like cache all the routings or the part of the application because the routing logic is in JavaScript in the client size. What the workplace is not, right? Your part logical, like slab, blah, 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 slab, blah, 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 is from your server. So technically, if you are the workplace, it cache all your part every time that you, re that you open the new page. So it makes the cache is very huge because it's caching all the output, that output from the workplace. So in the user side, they've got the huge size of the caching. And also, it's not can provide a good offline experience because they have to cache a static size like you like you install a caching plugin in the workplace that cache the everything as a HTML. It's same, but it happened in client side. So it's that it doesn't good. It's very bad. Because when because a service worker decides for the single plate applications. So in that case it's cache only like single file of JS, single file of like CSS and image and all set. What about what place when you install a lot of the plugin? It cache all the plugin that you install. So that that not good with the client, so they use a lot of the storage. So the next question is your size need to integrate with the platform? You need this? You need the shortcut? No. You need the hardware access to your website? No. You need the Camilla, you need the GPS. No, right. I think so on one thing that you need is the share dialogs. So right now, if you call the navigator dot share, it will be pop up the share dialog. I think this is all in one platform feature that you need on your website. But less of it, no. So when you need the PDA. That are questions. That big, big question, big when. The PWA is the way to replace the native applications much as possible. 
So yeah, I can say like PWA cannot fully replace the native application. It's just like maybe 60%, 70%, maybe 80%, depends on your use case, but cannot. But if your website is not provide the app experience, the PWA capability is doesn't need for your website. I I don't want to against like okay if you install WordPress should it, you must do you must not do the PWA, but you have to think first. You have to think that your website is try to provide the app like experience or not. If yes, yeah, you should do it. But if no, don't try to install the like silly buttons on your website, make the user have to caching like the 20 or 30 megabytes of your page, or maybe have to get the notifications every day. So it's like the best experience. So how about the WooCommerce? So the WooCommerce, for me, is very depend. Because some of the websites already uh, is an e-commerce website, and they are provide the the ability of PWA. So I add to home screen like AliExpress, like Adidas, something. So back to the simple questions: If your websites try to provide the applications experience like do it. It's very good. But if not, don't do it. So yeah, for me, if you are the e-commerce website, I slightly recommend you to do this because you want the user to get notification when like order update, notification when shipping is come to homes, or uh, the new promotions. And also, you need the user to come back and try to buy the new stuff every day. So for the e-commerce website, it's very good. But in case if you need, like in that case, like in e-commerce, in the app, uh, or you provide the application like experience, so this is you need to consider. First of all, don't install the plugin. Try to get the hard code much as possible if you are able to do that. So because the plugin try to like provide the many things and also uh, provide a lot of the code, so it makes your website is a little bit slow. Because actually, when you want to do the installations, you need only this one. You need only the one JSON. They call manifest.json that make the web your website has an installation uh, ability. Yeah, it look like scary because it's very long, but actually you did only this. Just name and the icon. That's all you want. You don't need any, uh, other stuff. So these are full versions of the like of the manifest.json. So I sorry I forgot to put the names of the file because I just finished the slide like a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, but you need only like few lines of of the text and make your website installable. Second one is icon must be nice. When you use when user use Android and you add to and they add to home screen, the icon will be just inside this inside this uh, circle or inside this, some shape of it. So use a feature called Max Able Icon to make the icons look very good. Don't try to like put icons like straightforward. So it make the your icons of the your PDBAs look same of the app. Next one is provide more details about the installation. So PDBAs not have a store. User need to read everything to see the de uh, like demos or screenshot. Provide all stuff in the manifest.json. It will help the user to un understand about your your application is better. Okay. App shortcut is a good toy. For me, it's like you, you can put, if you are the e-commerce side, you can set a, the shortcut like order status, 
new promotions or everything is very helpful, but it doesn't work in iOS yet, but in Macs, in Windows, it's already worked. And yeah, be careful with every time when you provide an offline. Actually, it's for me, I don't recommend you to provide like full offline capability because this is a very lag case that user has no internet and try to open the app. So how about like open your website on the airplane, try to shopping something? Nothing, it's, it's impossible, right? So yeah, try to be careful and cache only the page that you want, the user want to see, this is all of that. Again, notifications on the web, it doesn't work. If you are trying to push the, your content, stop do it. And if you want to push an application about the other status or anything, keep doing it. So that is a trick one. And last question, make sure that the, your user want to install your size on the phone. If you provide this feature without any confidence that the user will install, don't do it. Thank you so much. This is all the answer of the big questions why you don't need the PWA for your workplace side. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.